Hi, my name is Matthew Stone. I'm a product manager and technical lead for Brocade Communications. Today I'll be sharing with you an integration we've done with Docker Swarm and a Brocade VDX switch. Docker recently released an experimental network driver for LibNetwork called MacVLAN. This driver allows users to pin a Docker container to a host's interface. Communication with the container then looks very similar to a virtual machine. The container receives its own MAC address and is able to communicate directly with the physical network. Since there is no virtual switch to handle routing, switching, or NAT, the physical network needs to be configured to support the newly created Docker network. Brocade recently acquired Stackstorm to integrate into its Workflow Composer product, and I'll be using it today to integrate the Swarm cluster to the VDX. Let's begin by looking at the current status of the Swarm cluster. As you can see, I have two Swarm nodes in the healthy state. Now let's list the networks currently instantiated in the Swarm cluster. The null, host, and bridge networks are the default networks for Docker. We have two hosts in the cluster, and each host's network is reflected here. Now let's log into the VDX and list all the virtual Ethernet interfaces. There are currently only three virtual Ethernet interfaces configured, and they are used for services outside of the Docker deployment. The normal workflow for creating a network such as this would be to log into the relevant switches to configure them with the information from the Docker network. This can be performed before or after the Docker network is created, but in each case, it is a manual process. Here we'll subscribe to the Docker event API to start a workflow when a Docker network is created. This removes the need to log into the switch and create the network manually. It pulls the needed data from the event API and configures the switch accordingly. Once the Docker network is created, the workflow is shown in the history section of the web portal. You can see each task being completed one by one. In this case, we needed to create a virtual Ethernet interface, both locally and globally. Then we must set the IP and no shut the interface. Once those tasks have been performed, a task to write to a Slack channel informs any relevant staff of the new network. If we list the virtual Ethernet interfaces again, we now see the Docker network has been created on the VDX. Any container added to that Docker network can now communicate with the physical network utilizing the 112 virtual Ethernet interface as its gateway. Back on the web portal, you can see that the Docker and the VDX action packs that have made this workflow possible. Let's switch to the workflow definition to show you what this looks like. This YAML file contains the workflow described in Mistral, an OpenStack workflow language. The top of the file outlines the metadata for this workflow, followed by a list of tasks and required data to complete those tasks. One of the more interesting pieces of Mistral is the on success and on air sections. Using these two together, you can build a workflow as complex or as simple as your needs. Thank you for your time watching this video. I hope it was informative to you and highlighted some of the exciting things to come from both Docker and Brocade.